just like to talk about a few things that's been incorporated into my lifestyle when it comes to weaponry. Uh, John has been teaching me some fun things, and uh, I've been uh, getting used to a few weapons, uh, introduced to a few weapons, and uh, what I'll be going over today is uh, some of the first knives that I was introduced and also uh, some of the guns that's in my uh, arsenal that I will be uh, using, incorporating into my life. Um, and I have one right here. Uh, this one is one of the very first knives that I've ever gotten. And uh, it's funny that I am definitely afraid of spiders. I have arachnophobia. Uh, but for some reason, the very first knife that I've ever get, what do you know, has a spider on it. Um, now what I like about this is it's spring-loaded. Uh, it's very easy to pop open. Now, um, ladies, there's one thing that I like to go over. It is illegal if your weapon is concealed when it comes to knives. So when, it's okay to have a knife as long as, it's, as long as you can see it. Like if you're walking down the street and it's exposed like this, you're fine. But you could be criminally prosecuted if I was to uh, stick this in my purse and then be a bad person and uh, you know use this for something that I shouldn't. Um, so make sure that if you was to have a stiletto that you need to have it out in the open. Now I have carried this one in my bra. Um, it works better if you carry it in your pockets. And uh, even if you have to stick it in your boot, as long as it's out in the open and exposed, people can see it. They probably say to themselves, no, nope, I'm not going to mess with this chick, but you're not going to get in trouble. So that's Utah law. There is a few other places that are different. Um, you want to check with your, uh, your local laws uh, and see what the, the laws say. Um, and another knife, another stiletto that is uh, just been introduced to me that I just barely got like two weeks ago. Um, this is a tri-light made by Cold Steel. It is a little bit different. It's not spring-loaded, uh, so I do have to uh, lightly flick this and then flip it open. Uh, this is really sharp, really quality made. Um, both of these run about uh, $20. This one's about $20, and uh, this one uh, should be a little bit more than $20. Um, uh, this one is a little bit bigger. Of course, it's not pink, ladies, <laughs> so uh, that one is awesome. Um, I'll actually be going over uh, this uh, tactical Wakasaki uh, later on. And um, another, one of my second uh, weapons, a quick stick, uh, this was in, put in my purse. I can put this in my purse. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to walk around with something like this. I actually put this in my car too, like in my car door on the side. And a uh, quick stick, uh, we will be having these. And, um, yeah, self-defense, basically like a baseball bat. You don't want to screw around with me if you have one of these, but, uh, yeah. So these have been my first two weapons. First one, my stiletto. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Uh, now, I have been introduced to guns. I will be getting my concealed weapons permit. Uh, these guns have been checked. They're not loaded. Uh, safety first, right? And, uh... What uh, I was very first introduced to uh, a gun um, that I felt like that would be very easy to incorporate into my lifestyle. Um, I am a woman. I'm uh, very hustle and bustle, very busy. Uh, my wardrobe, you know, I can't carry around my purse all the time. Uh, I will be going out on occasion wearing dresses and uh, uh, I won't be having my purse with me at all times. So uh, what I do like about this um, this is North American Pug 22. Um, and did you just say that? Yeah, that was a draw. Yeah, do you want me to do it again? <laughs> Matt. <laughs> so you can see how deadly this is. And this is why this right here has been one of my favorite guns to work with. Um, a very quick draw. And uh, John even said, you have no idea that somebody would have this, which makes it even more deadly. Um, they also call these belly guns too, uh, this one and the uh, 22 Beretta. Why they call this a belly gun is because, you know, when you have, I'm not actually going to come up here, when you have a gun that's meant for close range, uh, the likelihood of somebody coming up behind me and attacking me is highly likely. You know, nobody's going to 
come at me gunpoint from 15 feet away and say, give me all your money and take off your clothes. It's not going to happen. There's going to be somebody that an aggressor uh, more likely is going to come up to you and try and can take control of you. And uh, why they call them a belly gun, take it out, bam, 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 you would have no idea. An aggressor would have no idea either. So uh, that's why they call them belly guns. And uh, what I love about this is that uh, me and John developed this together. It's a rocket holster. And uh, what's great about this is that I can stick this in my purse, but it's definitely made more for the bra. And uh, I did wear this shirt just so you ladies at home can see um, that it does go into the bra. It does have a little clip to where it's a quick release. Um, and you can't get that holster out unless if you have that quick release button pushed down. Um, so definitely my favorite. Um, yeah. Uh, the other belly gun, 22 Beretta. Now this one is, the difference between the two is that this one is a lot uh, uh, less maintenance, I would say. Um, there is safety right here. So when you are, um, it does take a magazine versus uh, the North American Pug. Now I'm going to actually show you this. Now, if you was to actually take this out of your purse and use this, all you need to do is flip the safety and then pull the trigger, and that's it. Very easy, very, very quick. The only thing about this one that um, is a little bit different is you do have to take it apart in order to reload it, and it can be kind of tricky sometimes. You take out the cylinder, reload it, versus this one taking a magazine. I'd say this one's a lot less maintenance, a very easy to work with. Um, it's a bit quicker, but this one is the just in case backup, but they're both belly guns. Um, I'd probably say this one is still my favorite, considering the two, uh, because it's, um, you have no idea. And when you have no idea, it's even more deadly. So, yeah, and then, Let's do, now I have done target practice with all of these. Uh, the accuracy on this one, I'd probably say about 20, 20 yards, 25 yards. And of course, this one's a lot more accurate, a lot farther away. Um, this one, the uh, Glock 40, very fun to work with. Uh, now, ladies, if you wish to wear something like this on you, um, People would see it a mile away, and uh, they would know not to mess with you. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would, um, yeah, definitely means business. And I've had so much fun doing target practice with this one. It's uh, very smooth, not much of a kick, very fun to work with. And uh, I love the detail work on it. Um, Hell is here, stippling on it. This is one of my favorites, but then again, it's harder for me to carry this around because everybody's going to be able to see that. So, hmm, let's uh, let's go over one more thing. Uh, now, I actually got this last week. This is a tactical wakasaki. Uh, wakasaki. Yes, thank you. Try to say that ten times fast. I know it's Japanese. I don't speak Japanese, but I love Japanese metal. I love Japanese shares, and uh, I love this. Tactical meaning, it's kind of, they kind of took a spin-off from the traditional, um, and it's a lot shorter. Uh, I did end up doing a shooting, what was it, uh, Monday, and I ended up doing a uh, AR-15 uh, in combination with a little bit of uh, work with this uh, samurai sword, and uh, it's fun. It's just, uh, if you was to wear this, same thing again, it has to be out in the open. Yes, ladies, you can go around town uh, with a samurai sword on your back as long as it's out in the open. I just want to emphasize that. As soon as I found that out, I was like, oh, that is so badass. I love it. So, um, this has been a fun little toy. Uh, there is a technique and uh, there is a method to the madness and it does take time to... Uh, get used to it and uh, know the technicalities of the samurai sword. Um, so you do have to do maintenance on them. You always have to clean them. You always have to make sure that they're dry. Uh, you never want to leave them wet. 
So, yeah, and this is my new toy right here. Uh, as for knives right now, I'm getting more into it until I can get my concealed weapons permit. And then when it's time to do the concealed weapons permit, I'll uh, definitely be going over what I have been carrying and how it's been working with me. So, that's all. And uh, ladies, keep your edges sharp and your stilettos high.